Hello, boys and girls. Happy Easter. Today we're celebrating the most important day of the year. It's Easter Sunday when we remember Jesus rising from the dead. That's called the resurrection. Can you say resurrection with me? Resurrection. Our prayer table is decorated in a fancy way, isn't it? What do you see? Well, we have a white and gold cloth, which are liturgical colors that show glory and joy. This candle right here is called a Paschal candle, and it's lit at the Easter Vigil Mass, and then it's kept lit throughout the season of Easter. It represents Christ, our light, who has saved us from the darkness of sin and death. We're going to learn some signs for a gathering song now. Let's learn how to sign the words new life. First, here's the word new. Put your arm out like this, and then with your other hand, scoop like this, going up on your other hand. That's how we say new, good job. And then let's sign the word life. Make L's with both hands and lift them up like this. So now let's put them together, ready? New life. It's a little tricky, once more. New life. Excellent job, boys and girls. And lastly, let's remember how to sign the word Jesus. Put one finger on the middle of one hand and then switch. Well done. We'll use these signs in our gathering song, which is called New Life. Sing along with me. Jesus has given us new life. Jesus has given us new life. Just as he said, just as he said, Jesus is risen today. Just as he said, just as he said, Jesus is risen today. Jesus has given us new hope. Jesus has given us new hope. Just as he said, just as he said, Jesus is risen today. Just as he said, just as he said, Jesus is risen today. Jesus has given us a new start. Jesus has given us a new start. Just as he said, just as he said, Jesus is risen today. Just as he said, just as he said, Jesus is risen today. Jesus has given us a new heart. Jesus has given us a new heart. Just as he said, just as he said, Jesus is risen today. Just as he said, just as he said, Jesus is risen today. Jesus has given us new life. Jesus has given us new life. Just as he said, just as he said, Jesus is risen today. Just as he said, just as he said, Jesus is risen today. Such joyful singing, boys and girls. Good job. What do you see on our coloring page today? Yes, it's Jesus, and he's holding a flag or a banner. Do you see it right there? Do you know what that flag means, boys and girls? Well, it's a sign of victory or winning. By rising from the dead, Jesus won the battle against sin and death. Let's read what's at the top. With his resurrection, Jesus has given us new life. That's what our gathering song told us too. Let's light our Paschal candle as we get ready to hear God's word. Today's first reading is from the Acts of the Apostles. It tells us about when Peter first began spreading the good news of Jesus. Let's listen to what he has to say. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter said to Cornelius and his household, You surely know what happened everywhere in Judea. 
It all began in Galilee after John had told everyone to be baptized. God gave the Holy Spirit and power to Jesus from Nazareth. He was with Jesus as he went around doing good and healing everyone who was under the power of the devil. We all saw what Jesus did both in Israel and in the city of Jerusalem. Jesus was put to death on a cross, but three days later, God raised him to life and let him be seen. Not everyone saw him. He was seen only by us, who ate and drank with him after he was raised from death. We were the ones God chose to tell others about him. God told us to announce clearly to the people that Jesus is the one he has chosen to judge the living and the dead. Every one of the prophets has said that all who have faith in Jesus will have their sins forgiven in his name. The word of the Lord. And we say together, thanks be to God. Can you say that? Thanks be to God. Do you remember who was spreading the good news of Jesus in today's first reading? I'll give you a hint. It was one of Jesus' closest friends and one of the apostles. If you said Peter, good job. In this reading, St. Peter is starting to tell the good news about Jesus. He wants everyone to know about Jesus' life. Peter gives an important message. Everyone who believes in Jesus will have their sins forgiven. That means that even though it was very sad that Jesus had to die, his dying saved us from sin and death. Now we can have new life with him in heaven. Now it's time for the responsorial psalm, which is a song that we'll sing together. Our words today are, This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Sing this with me the second time when I raise my hand. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Tell the Lord how thankful you are because he is kind and always merciful. Let Israel shout, God is always merciful. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. The Lord is powerful with his mighty arm. The Lord wins victories, and so my life is safe. And I will live to tell what the Lord has done. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. The stone that the builders tossed aside has now become the most important stone. The Lord has done this and it is amazing to us. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This psalm had such happy words, didn't it? Do you know what the word rejoice means? Hmm, do you think it means to be sad or to celebrate? You're right, it means to celebrate. And why are we celebrating today? Well, because Jesus rose from the dead. We can be joyful and thank God for his love for us by sending Jesus, his son, to the world. 
In our second reading, St. Paul the Apostle explains that every baptized Christian shares in the new resurrected life of Jesus. Let's listen. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, you have been raised to life with Christ. Now set your heart on what is in heaven, where Christ rules at God's right side. Think about what is up there, not about what is here on earth. You died, which means that your life is hidden with Christ, who sits beside God. Christ gives meaning to your life, and when he appears, you will also appear with him in glory. The word of the Lord. And we say together, thanks be to God. Your turn. Thanks be to God. Ooh, boys and girls, I love the part of this reading that says, Christ gives meaning to your life. Jesus gives our life purpose. Just like St. Paul says to the Colossians, we too are meant to think about what is up in heaven. Let's be faithful disciples of Jesus Christ so that when he comes the second time, we will rise too. There's a word we haven't been able to say during Lent. To remember, it starts with the letter A and sounds like ah at the beginning. Yes, it's Alleluia. We can say this word again because it's Easter. We sing joyful praise to God because Jesus lives. Sing Alleluia with me when I raise my hand. Today's gospel tells what happened when three different disciples, or friends of Jesus, went to his tomb the Sunday after he died. Let's hear what happened. The Lord be with you, and we say together, and with your spirit. Can you say that? And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. And we say together, glory to you, O Lord. May Jesus be on my mind, on my lips, and in my heart. On Sunday morning, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene went to the tomb and saw that the stone had been rolled away from the entrance. She ran to Simon Peter and to Jesus' favorite disciple and said, They have taken the Lord from the tomb. We don't know where they have put him. Peter and the other disciples started for the tomb. They ran side by side until the other disciple ran faster than Peter and got there first. He bent over and saw the strips of linen cloth lying inside the tomb, but he did not go in. When Simon Peter got there, he went into the tomb and saw the strips of cloth. He also saw the piece of cloth that had been used to cover Jesus' face. It was rolled up in a place by itself. The disciple who got there first then went into the tomb, and when he saw it, he believed. At that time, Peter and the other disciple did not know that the scriptures said Jesus would rise to life. The Gospel of the Lord. And we say together, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Your turn. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
You may go ahead and sit down now, boys and girls. Boys and girls, before we talk about our gospel for this glorious Easter Sunday, I want to ask you a question. What do you see when you look at this picture? Do you see the black vase right here? Or do you see the two faces? If you can't see the vase, here are the patterns. And this is the bottom. And if you want to see the faces, here are the noses and the foreheads and the chins. Boys and girls, there was more than one way to look at this picture, right? And so the disciples who first saw Jesus' empty tomb on Easter Sunday also had different ideas about what they were looking at. My friend Harrison is going to help me answer some questions today about our gospel. Happy Easter, Harrison. Happy Easter, Miss Heidi. Now, Harrison, what was St. Mary Magdalene able to see in the deep darkness before dawn, before the sun came up? She only saw that the stone was rolled away from the tomb. That's right. And what did she think about what she saw? Well, she thought that Jesus' enemies had stolen his body. Well, what about Simon Peter, who we also call Saint Peter? What did Saint Peter see now that it was morning and the sun was up? Hmm, boys and girls, do you remember what Saint Peter saw? I can't quite remember. Okay, I think I heard the kids say that he saw little strips of cloth that had wrapped Jesus' body. Oh, that's right. And Miss Hardy, I don't really understand what St. John meant when he said, when he saw it, he believed. What does that mean? Well, Harrison, we think that St. John realized that Jesus had risen from the dead. Now, St. Mary Magdalene, St. Peter, and St. John were all good disciples because all three of them remained devoted to Jesus, really good friends with Jesus, even after he died, staying in Jerusalem and praying until they had answers about the meaning of his death. Eventually, Jesus himself would appear to them too. Boys and girls, let's be good disciples too, even at times when we don't exactly understand everything going on around us. And today, on the most joyful day of our church year, let us praise God for the gift of Jesus' resurrection. Let's say, Alleluia, Jesus has risen. Your turn. Alleluia, Jesus has risen. Well done. Now it's time to sing a song, to say what we believe in, to profess our faith. Your part will be, Yes, Lord, I believe. Sing along with me. Do you believe in God the Father? Yes, Lord, I believe. Who made the earth and all we see? Yes, Lord, I believe. Do you believe in Jesus Christ? Yes, Lord, I believe. Conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, yes, Lord, I believe. I believe in God the Father, I believe in God the Son, I believe in the Holy Spirit and the strength that makes us one. I believe that Mother Mary is the mother of God's Son, I believe, I do believe. Do you believe that Jesus died? Yes, Lord, I believe. He died for us so we could live. Yes, Lord, I believe. Do you believe he rose again? Yes, Lord, I believe. He's seated now at God's right hand. Yes, Lord, I believe. I believe in God the Father. I believe in God the Son. I believe in the Holy Spirit and the strength that makes us one. I believe that Mother Mary is the mother of God's Son. I believe, I do believe. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit? Yes, Lord, I believe. 
the Catholic Church and communion of saints. Yes, Lord, I believe. Do you believe in God's forgiveness? Yes, Lord, I believe that we will rise to life again. Yes, Lord, I believe. I believe in God the Father. I believe in God the Son. I believe in the Holy Spirit and the strength that makes us one. I believe that Mother Mary is the mother of God's Son. I believe. I do believe. This is our faith, which we profess. Yes, Lord, I believe. I believe in God the Father. I believe in God the Son. I believe in the Holy Spirit and the strength that makes us one. I believe that Mother Mary is the mother of God's Son. I believe. I do believe. I believe. I do believe. Now it's time for the prayer of the faithful, where we bring our prayers to God. As a sign of our faith in Christ Jesus and his glorious resurrection, let us raise our hands in prayer and bring our needs to our Father who loves us. After each petition, please sing, Lord, hear our prayer. That Easter joy will fill the hearts of Pope Francis, all bishops, priests, and religious brothers and sisters. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That rich countries will help the people of poor countries find the food and water they need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That Easter joy will strengthen the faith of all who struggle with sadness or doubt. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That Easter joy will help each of us live and love as Jesus did. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Now it's our turn to pray to God in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, on that first Easter Sunday, Mary Magdalene, Peter, John, and all the other disciples learned that Jesus, their Lord and Savior, was alive, more alive than ever. May the good news they received that day echo down through the ages until he comes again in glory. This we ask through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Your turn. Amen. This ends today's Children's Liturgy, boys and girls, but don't worry. There's still more you can do now to proclaim the good news of Jesus. Use the link below to download the New Life coloring page. Thanks again for sending in your lovely artwork to us. We'll show your coloring pages on our next full-length episode. If your parents would like to share your weekly coloring pages or freehand faith-based drawings, have them take a picture of your drawing and email it to kidsliturgy2020 at gmail.com by Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern. We'll show your artwork on an upcoming episode. Check out Catholic composer John Berlin's latest CD, Into the World. Into the World invites listeners on a journey of deep faith with a diverse collection of praise and worship songs based on the scriptures. Visit his website at johnberlin.net to order. Miss Heidi is proud to partner with Bayard for family and child faith formation. To order Children Celebrate Children's Liturgy Leaders Guide or Leaflets, the Living with Christ Sunday Missal for Young Catholics, Flom Gospel Weeklies, or John Berlin's Religious Music, visit bayardfaithresources.com. Receive 15% off select items with promo code Miss Heidi. Thank you so much, boys and girls, for listening to God's Word with me today on this joyous Easter Sunday. 
Stay well. God bless you. And remember that Jesus loves you. Happy Easter. Resurrection giving us eternal life. He is risen, hallelujah. He is here with us today. He is risen, hallelujah. He brings new life on this day. Jesus, you bring new life on this day. Jesus, you bring new life on this day. They were walking to a man. And he joined them on the way In the breaking of bread They recognized him His resurrection giving us eternal life He is risen, hallelujah He is here with us today He is risen, hallelujah He brings new life on this day Jesus, you bring new life on this day As we gather to remember, we all listen to God's word. In the breaking of bread, by sharing the cup, His resurrection giving us eternal life. sadness and fear Jesus did appear peace to you he said with love and care now I will be with you everywhere he is not here the angel said he has risen from the dead you must go to Galilee instead and tell the disciples he lives not here, the angel said, he has risen from the dead, you must go to Galilee instead, and tell the disciples, he lives, and tell the disciples.